Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the photo books by Rose Mood Atelier. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and make sure to check the notifications bell to never miss a new video. After receiving lots of emails and lots of comments and messages from you guys asking me about the Rose Mood photo books, I finally ordered my first book and now I can answer all the questions that I couldn't answer before. Rose Mood is a French company, I think in Nantes, and they make photo books, lots of stationary items like cards, wedding invitations, uh, lots of beautiful notebooks and also some prints as well. Without even looking at the website, you can tell from the name Atelier that it's going to be something handcrafted, something where a lot of attention is paid to detail and uh, it's something not mass produced. This post is going to be solely about photo books, but I really want to draw your attention to their lovely notebooks, cards and other stationary items which are really worth checking out on the website. You can see a couple of photos here now on the screen, so if you're interested in any of those, check out uh, on the website as I'm not going to talk about any of those in this video. So their photo book range is quite concise uh, compared to other big companies like Photobook Worldwide or Shutterfly, but they are specially selected products that will suit most occasions and they also come with a lot of complementary services like photo retouching, layout optimization and also proofreading should you need any. When you click on the photo book tab on the website, you're going to see three different kinds of photo books. There is a soft cover, there is a printed hardcover and there is a fabric hardcover. I ordered a fabric hardcover, which you can see here. And although this is the only book I have, I'm going to talk about all three of them uh, just to give you an idea of what you can order from the website. But this is the one that I'm going to show you in more detail. So let's have a look first at the creation process and then I'm going to show you the physical book because the creation process tells a lot about the photo book company. So first of all, you have to use their online editor, which you can access from the website. They also have a smartphone app, but I, I think the best way to do it is on their website. When you select a book type, you have to make some additional uh, selections before the editor opens up and in my case that was selecting the number of pages and selecting the color of the fabric but uh, if you have another photo book like a soft cover you will have to select from lots of different cover designs before you can start editing the insides of the book. When you settle then all of those parameters you can start editing the insides of the book. The editor is very clean and simple looking in the main window you've got your photo book the two pages left and right side in the left window you've got your tools which basically means some helpful hints and the photos and the layouts. There are lots of lots of layouts in the editor and you can select them based on the number of photos and there are also some layouts which are for single pages and some of them are for double page spreads. Now if you look at these layouts all of them are very minimalist and clean looking so just white backgrounds and photos with borders around and um, I think that's a very nice look but at the same time the editor is extremely rigid in the sense that when you select a layout and apply it to one of your pages you can't change anything inside the layout, you can't rotate the photo boxes, you can't resize them. A page can have a maximum of nine photos and there is a very handy tool in the editor which is called the shuffle button and what that does is basically if you have four photos on your page and you keep pressing the, the shuffle button it's going to show you many different layouts which all contain four pictures until you see something that you really like so you don't have to select all the layouts and drag them you can just click on the shuffle button. I think the only thing in the editor that would be nice to change is the rigidity so if I put some photo boxes onto my page or text I would like to have the freedom or flexibility to put that text anywhere on the page or to put the photo boxes, uh, turn them around, resize them, but at the moment I can't do them. So once I selected a template, I have to stick with the look of the template. 
And I think uh, allowing a little bit more freedom would add an extra dimension of creativity into the, uh, the creation process. So once you're happy with the design, then all you have to do is order the book and wait for it to arrive. So let's start talking about the books. First, I'm going to say a few words about the soft cover book, which I don't have here, but I just want to give you a little bit of a roundup information from the website. So this one is the lightest of the three photo books and also the most budget friendly. Soft cover books tend to look kind of very average, almost like booklets in many cases, but not this one. The Rosemood soft cover photo books look much nicer and much more elegant. And that's mainly due to the amazing designs that you can choose for the front cover of the book. And all of these designs are so nice, so stylish. Uh, it's very obvious that they spent time on making these designs. It's not just a simple photo with some text in the bottom they are stylish and very tasteful so whichever you choose your book is going to look nice even if it's a soft cover book the soft cover book comes in nine sizes three square three landscape and three portrait which is a great selection from very small to very large the book can hold 26 to 200 pages in three finishes you've got a satin paper which is 170 gsm and is brilliant white You've got a smooth matte paper, which again is brilliant white, 150 GSM, but it's a matte surface, very little shine. And you've got the textured ivory, which is off-white, and it's again 150 GSM, but it is textured. So if you're looking for an art paper, that's your best choice. The stock use for the cover is obviously thicker, is going to be around 300 GSM. And the book is perfect bound, meaning that the pages are printed double-sided as single sheets and they are glued together at the spine. This doesn't allow the book to open completely flat, so it's going to be a little bit lost in the middle at the spine. Regarding the print quality, the books are printed on HP Indigo printers, and this is true for all three books. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that when I get to my own book and I show you the print quality. The second book is the printed hardcover, which is very similar to the softcover, but it has an upgraded outer shell. So instead of the softcover here, you've got a hardback cover, which again benefits from the same stylish design. So just the same cover, options that you've got for the soft cover. This book type is available in slightly less formats. You've got two square, one portrait and one landscape size. You can choose from two papers, in this case, the satin or the smooth matte, so no textured ivory for the printed hardcover. The pages are again glued together at the spine, but in this case, you've got some nice um, headbands to embellish the binding and some nice colored end sheets for that classic look. This book can hold slightly less pages, so starting at 40 pages all the way up to 160 pages. Now let's come to the nicest book in the range, which is the Fabric hardcover book. Now this one is perfect for wedding albums and anything really that's a special occasion. The book can hold from 50 to 122 pages, but these are printed as signatures. So what that means is that while in the printed hardcover and the softcover, the pages are double-sided single sheets, here you've got a full double page spread. So instead of a single page being printed, you've got a double page spread printed, and these are combined into signatures and they are sewn together and the signatures are then glued together. So this one is a very traditional timeless binding, which allows the book to open completely flat, as you can see, and there's nothing getting lost in the middle. And it's also going to be much stronger because you've got a double security. You've got the stitching in the middle and you've also got the glue. For this book, you can choose from smooth matte and ivory textured. In my book, I chose the uh, smooth matte, as you can see, and it's a beautiful paper. It has a very, very subtle sheen when you're looking at it in a bright light like I am now, but um, in, in daylight, it should look completely matte and it's brilliant white, so the colors look nicely balanced. They're not going to look too warm or too cold. This book comes in a single size, which is a 25 by 25 centimeters square, so this size here. Now, this is a very good size, a very good medium size, 
but it's probably not going to be suitable for every single project and for every single taste. So I think for every photo book type, especially the nicest one in the range, you need at least two, three sizes because some people always prefer the landscape format and others will prefer the square. And some people always want to go for a portrait size book. So even if you don't have lots of sizes, you should have at least a couple of different formats. For the cover, you can choose from six different shades of fabric and this makes the book really elegant and classic. The fabric shades include some subtle pastel colors, but also some more vivid options should you need any, like this one here. The cover of the book can be embellished with foiling, so you can have your titles foiled on the front and also on the spine, which again gives it a more timeless classic look. The hardcover books can be chosen with a presentation or gift box and as you can see the gift box is also fabric wrapped so it's a perfect match for the fabric um, cover book and it opens from the side as you can see and there is a little ribbon that helps you lift out the book. The box itself has no print on it and no foiling uh, it's plain, however, on the front you will see a very small embossed uh, rose mood logo, which I think is very nice. My only moan about this box is that you don't have the option to match the color of the book to the box. So as you can see, the box is a dark navy, but the book is mustard in my case, and I couldn't choose the color of the box. Now, these two colors complement each other very nicely and they go well but um, I think it would be nice to be able to choose the same color for the box as for the book, especially if you pay for it. I think the box costs 20 pounds. Now let's have a look at the paper quality and the binding. So I'm going to page through the book here and you can see all the photos, also some of the layouts, how they look, the minimalist look in the book. I said in the beginning of the video that they use HP Indigo printers, and that's a digital print technology, which basically creates the image from tiny dots. The colors in the book are actually quite well balanced and nothing was too oversaturated, nothing was um, too much on the warmer side or a colder side. I really like how the colors came out, but the dynamic range and the clarity and the smoothness of the tone transitions in HP Indigo print is never going to be as detailed as in inkjet prints or traditional silver halide prints. So although the print looks very nice and it's as good or even better than most of the books you'll find in bookshops, it's just not exactly the same as a wedding album that you would buy from a traditional C print photo book maker. And I just wanted to point this out because obviously it's a very nice photo book and if you're looking for that silver halide print then you won't find that in this book. But if you're looking at very good quality print then you won't be disappointed. It just depends what your expectations are regarding the print. So here is the final verdict. Here are the things that I loved most about this book. The concept, the presentation, the website and the attention to detail. The sewn binding creates a timeless look and a very strong binding and you can have a lay flat book without the rigid thick pages of silver halide books or flush mount albums. The fabric colors are beautiful and you will find, as I said, not just uh, timeless, um, subtle shades, but also some nice vivid colors. The printed cover designs are beautiful, stylish, and tasteful. So whichever design you choose for your soft cover or printed hardcover book is going to make it look outstanding. The paper is elegant and well suited for these books, whether you choose the textured ivory for a little bit more uh, artistic look or the smooth matte, it's going to uh, make your colors look the best they can. And finally, the colors were quite nicely balanced in the book. Now, here are a few things that um, you, you should watch out for or consider before buying uh, the Rose Mood books. The first thing is that the fabric book is only available in one size. So if you're looking for a, a landscape book or an extra large book, then you won't be able to choose that luxury option from the range. The editor is very rigid. So although the layouts look really nice, there's nothing that you can change inside the layout. You can't resize the photo boxes and you can't change where the text goes on the page. Number three, although the print quality is very nice, as I said, uh, it is still not as good as a silver halide print or an inkjet print. So if you're looking for the most superior print quality, then you might want to look at different print technologies. And finally, the box is gorgeous and I absolutely love it. I still think you should have the choice to be able to 
match the color of the box to the color of your book. The books are very reasonably priced. Uh, the soft cover book starts at 18 pounds, the printed hardcover book starts at 40 pounds, and the fabric book starts at 85 pounds. Now that sounds a little bit expensive, but the price includes 50 pages to start with. So that's the minimum for the fabric cover book. They offer discounts for duplicates. So if you buy a book and then you want another one, for your family or whatever, then another book of the same design is going to be anywhere between 10 to 25% off depending on the book type that you choose. And also when it comes to the prices, we must not forget that these prices include a more personalized customer service because they do a layout optimization, they do a retouching service to your pictures, and they also have proofreading available included in the price. So if you have text in your book, they're going to proofread it to make sure that there are no mistakes anywhere. The books are available worldwide. I think there are three websites. There is one for France, one for Germany and one for the UK. But wherever you are in the world, you can order the books. I've seen the shipping exist to the UK, anywhere in Europe, and also to the rest of the world. And it starts at seven pounds. The book came in this box. It was very neatly and meticulously packed. Nothing moved and nothing got damaged. And it's perfectly shaped around the book. So that's the end of my review of the Rose Mood photo books. I hope this answered the questions that I received in the emails and comments. And now you know a little bit more about these books. It's a beautiful range and it's obviously something more unique. Uh, it's more of a concept book than a mass produced uh, corporation photo book kind of idea. So if you like what you saw in this video, go onto their website and check out the range. And as I said in the beginning of the video, have a look at their, at their notebooks and stationary items as well. They're really pretty and again, quite unique compared to what you find in uh, bigger stores. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, subscribe for more.